Hi, so some of you may have been aware that we were planning on bringing some of our Bard Holland chicken eggs into your classrooms to uh, let y'all experience the hatching of eggs this spring. And uh, coronavirus definitely had a way of ruining some of our best made plans. So now we are on to option number two, which is doing some short videos um, to let you guys at home be able to experience the hatching of Dutch hookbill eggs. So this here is Pim and he is a snowy, that is the color of him, um, Dutch hookbill duck that we have on our farm here. And one of the things about the Dutch hookbills are, um, they are a critically endangered breed of duck with less than 500 um, breeding ducks currently in the United States and estimated less than 1,000 breeding ducks globally. So every egg that we are able to collect and hatch out definitely counts for the present. 100 years ago, an abundance of these birds inhabited Holland. They thrived in the canals and waterways. But as popularity of the duck eggs decreased and the pollution of the canals increased, the Dutch hookbills neared extinction. By the 1980s, there were only 15 Dutch hookbills remaining. These last few birds were collected and a conservation breeding program began in the Netherlands. In 2000, the Dutch hookbills were imported into the United States by Dave Holered in Washington State. Today, there are very few primary breeding flocks in the United States, but their numbers are continuing to grow. The top incubator is where we are currently incubating our Dutch hookbill eggs. As you can see on the counter, we have two eggs that were collected earlier today from our little flock, ready to go into the incubator. In the incubator, we have several eggs that have been collected over the last few weeks from our little flock. The eggs are marked on one side with the date that they were placed in the incubator and on the other side from the pair of ducks that they were collected from. Duck eggs require a little more care than chicken eggs do. So once a day we remove all of the eggs from the incubator and we mist them with a bottle of distilled water. The eggs are then left on the counter to breathe for 10 minutes once a day. Then they are rolled and placed back in the incubator. Once the eggs have been misted and have dried, they are then placed individually back into the incubator. The eggs are turned every eight hours or three times a day. A key part to successfully hatching eggs is to have accurate temperature readings inside your incubator. The humidity level is also very important. There is a temperature and humidity reading on top of the incubator as well as smaller devices inside the incubator. Right now, since we have just had this unit open, it is running slightly cooler than normal, but the temperature will quickly resume. Join us next week as we candle the eggs and see the embryos developing at 7, 14, and 21 days. For more information on the Dutch hookbill ducks, visit the Livestock Conservancy. Follow our Facebook page at Prodigy Farms for more information on the Dutch hookbill ducks, as well as um, some homeschool projects for science and math in regards to eggs and ducks to make this learning more fun for the little ones. Thank you.